This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. ESL Intermediate Low Level Lose Lost Lost Losing Present Continuous, Progressive He's driving too fast, and I'm losing him on the road. Past When I drove home late last night, I lost my way home. Present I often lose my way around the streets in a new city. Present Perfect I have lost my way in a new city many times. Lose Lost Lost Losing Present Continuous, Progressive He's driving too fast, and I'm losing him on the road. Past When I drove home late last night, I lost my way home. Present I often lose my way around the streets in a new city. Present Perfect I have lost my way in a new city many times. Lose Lost Lost Losing Present Continuous, Progressive He's driving too fast, and I'm losing him on the road. Past When I drove home late last night, I lost my way home. Present I often lose my way around the streets in a new city. Present Perfect I have lost my way in a new city many times. Lose Lost Lost Losing Present Continuous, Progressive He's driving too fast, and I'm losing him on the road. Past When I drove home late last night, I lost my way home. Present I often lose my way around the streets in a new city. Present Perfect I have lost my way in a new city many times. Lose Lost Lost Losing Present Continuous, Progressive He's driving too fast, and I'm losing him on the road. Past When I drove home late last night, I lost my way home. Present I often lose my way around the streets in a new city. Present Perfect I have lost my way in a new city many times. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. ESL Intermediate Low Level Make Made Made Making Present The chef makes good food. Past My grandmother made good bread when she was living. Present Continuous, Progressive I'm making dinner now. Present Perfect Irene has made too many mistakes on the exams this semester. Make Made Made Making Present The chef makes good food. Past My grandmother made good bread when she was living. Present Continuous, Progressive I'm making dinner now. Present Perfect Irene has made too many mistakes on the exams this semester. Make Made Made Making Present The chef makes good food. Past My grandmother made good bread when she was living. Present Continuous, Progressive I'm making dinner now. Present Perfect Irene has made too many mistakes on the exams this semester. Make Made Made Making Present The chef makes good food. Past My grandmother made good bread when she was living. Present Continuous, Progressive I'm making dinner now. Present Perfect Irene has made too many mistakes on the exams this semester. Make Made Made Making Present The chef makes good food. Past My grandmother made good bread when she was living. Present Continuous, Progressive I'm making dinner now. Present Perfect Irene has made too many mistakes on the exams this semester. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 
ESL Intermediate Low Level Make Made Made Making Present They make friends easily. Present Perfect They have made new friends at summer camps for the last two years. Past They made new friends at summer camp last year. Present Continuous, Progressive they're making barbecue chicken for their friends now. Make made made making. Present. They make friends easily. Present perfect. They have made new friends at summer camps for the last two years. Past. They made new friends at summer camp last year. Present continuous, progressive. They're making barbecue chicken for their friends now. Make made made making. Present. They make friends easily. Present perfect. They have made new friends at summer camps for the last two years. Past. They made new friends at summer camp last year. Present continuous, progressive. They're making barbecue chicken for their friends now. Make made made making. Present. They make friends easily. Present perfect. They have made new friends at summer camps for the last two years. Past. They made new friends at summer camp last year. Present continuous, progressive. They're making barbecue chicken for their friends now. Make made made making. Present. They make friends easily. Present perfect. They have made new friends at summer camps for the last two years. Past. They made new friends at summer camp last year. Present continuous, progressive. They're making barbecue chicken for their friends now. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. ESL Intermediate Low Level. Mean meant meant meaning. Present. The abbreviation com means company in an email. Past. I meant to tell my son about my vacation, but I forgot and hung up the phone. Present perfect. The little girl has meant to be truthful, but she hasn't been able to tell the truth. Present perfect continuous. The teenager has been meaning to come home early, but she has lost track of time. Mean meant meant meaning. Present. The abbreviation com means company in an email. Past. I meant to tell my son about my vacation, but I forgot and hung up the phone. Present perfect. The little girl has meant to be truthful but she hasn't been able to tell the truth. Present perfect continuous. The teenager has been meaning to come home early, but she has lost track of time. Mean meant meant meaning. Present. The abbreviation com means company in an email. Past. I meant to tell my son about my vacation, but I forgot and hung up the phone. Present perfect. The little girl has meant to be truthful, but she hasn't been able to tell the truth. Present perfect continuous. The teenager has been meaning to come home early, but she has lost track of time. Mean meant meant meaning. Present. The abbreviation com means company in an email. Past. I meant to tell my son about my vacation, but I forgot and hung up the phone. Present perfect. The little girl has meant to be truthful, but she hasn't been able to tell the truth. Present perfect continuous. The teenager has been meaning to come home early, but she has lost track of time. Mean meant meant meaning. Present. The abbreviation com means company in an email. Past. I meant to tell my son about my vacation, but I forgot and hung up the phone. Present perfect. The little girl has meant to be truthful 
but she hasn't been able to tell the truth. Present perfect continuous. The teenager has been meaning to come home early, but she has lost track of time. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The students meet at the library after school. Past. John met his wife when they were in high school. Present continuous, progressive. I'm meeting my friend in 10 minutes. Present perfect. I've met a lot of people after I joined the exercise club. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The students meet at the library after school. Past. John met his wife when they were in high school. Present continuous, progressive. I'm meeting my friend in 10 minutes. Present perfect. I've met a lot of people after I joined the exercise club. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The students meet at the library after school. Past. John met his wife when they were in high school. Present continuous, progressive. I'm meeting my friend in 10 minutes. Present perfect. I've met a lot of people after I joined the exercise club. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The students meet at the library after school. Past. John met his wife when they were in high school. Present continuous, progressive. I'm meeting my friend in 10 minutes. Present perfect. I've met a lot of people after I joined the exercise club. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The students meet at the library after school. Past. John met his wife when they were in high school. Present continuous, progressive. I'm meeting my friend in 10 minutes. Present perfect. I've met a lot of people after I joined the exercise club. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The class meets in the mornings. Present continuous, progressive. The class is meeting in room 4 now. Present perfect. The class has met in room 4 since the beginning of the semester. Past. The class met in the patio for their last day of semester last month. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The class meets in the mornings. Present continuous, progressive. The class is meeting in room 4 now. Present perfect. The class has met in room 4 since the beginning of the semester. Past. The class met in the patio for their last day of semester last month. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The class meets in the mornings. Present continuous, progressive. The class is meeting in room 4 now. Present perfect. The class has met in room 4 since the beginning of the semester. Past. The class met in the patio for their last day of semester last month. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The class meets in the mornings. Present continuous, progressive. The class is meeting in room 4 now. Present perfect. The class has met in room 4 since the beginning of the semester. Past. The class met in the patio for their last day of semester last month. Meet met, met meeting. Present. The class meets in the mornings. 
Present continuous, progressive. The class is meeting in room 4 now. Present perfect. The class has met in room 4 since the beginning of the semester. Past. The class met in the patio for their last day of semester last month. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. 1. Previous jobs are jobs you had in the past. 2. Your position in the company is your job title. 3. Your military record is service in the army. 4. Your reason for leaving your past job means why you left your job. 5. Your former employer is your boss from a past job. 1. Previous jobs are jobs you had in the past. 2. Your position in the company is your job title. 3. Your military record is service in the army. 4. Your reason for leaving your past job means why you left your job. 5. Your former employer is your boss from a past job. 1. Previous jobs are jobs you had in the past. 2. Your position in the company is your job title. 3. Your military record is service in the army. 4. Your reason for leaving your past job means why you left your job. 5. Your former employer is your boss from a past job. 1. Previous jobs are jobs you had in the past. 2. Your position in the company is your job title. 3. Your military record is service in the army. 4. Your reason for leaving your past job means why you left your job. 5. Your former employer is your boss from a past job. 1. Previous jobs are jobs you had in the past. 2. Your position in the company is your job title. 3. Your military record is service in the army. 4. Your reason for leaving your past job means why you left your job. 5. Your former employer is your boss from a past job. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. 1. Is Tomas currently employed? 2. What does he like to do during his free time? 3. What position is he applying for? 4. When can he start? 5. Where did he go to high school? 6. Why did he quit his job with the Los Angeles Times? 7. What are his work schedule preferences? 1. Is Tomas currently employed? 2. What does he like to do during his free time? 3. What position is he applying for? 4. When can he start? 5. Where did he go to high school? 6. Why did he quit his job with the Los Angeles Times? 7. What are his work schedule preferences? 1. Is Tomas currently employed? 2. What does he like to do during his free time? 3. What position is he applying for? 4. When can he start? 5. Where did he go to high school? 6. Why did he quit his job with the Los Angeles Times? 7. What are his work schedule preferences? 1. Is Tomas currently employed? 2. What does he like to do during his free time? 3. What position is he applying for? 4. When can he start? 5. Where did he go to high school? 6. Why did he quit his job with the Los Angeles Times? 7. What are his work schedule preferences? One is Tomas currently employed? Two. What does he like to do during his free time? Three. What position is he applying for? Four. When can he start? Five. Where did he go to high school? Six. Why did he quit his job with the Los Angeles Times? Seven. What are his work schedule preferences?
This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. ESL Intermediate Low Level 1. He wants to be a deliverer man. 2. He didn't go to college. 3. He was born in the United States. 4. He previously lived in Los Angeles. 5. He worked for Pizza House before he worked for the Los Angeles Times. 6. He is currently unemployed. 7. He has a California driver's license. 8. He doesn't have a criminal record. 9. He is bilingual. 1. He wants to be a deliverer man. 2. He didn't go to college. 3. He was born in the United States. 4. He previously lived in Los Angeles. 5. He worked for Pizza House before he worked for the Los Angeles Times. 6. He is currently unemployed. 7. He has a California driver's license. 8. He doesn't have a criminal record. 9. He is bilingual. 1. He wants to be a deliverer man. 2. He didn't go to college. 3. He was born in the United States. 4. He previously lived in Los Angeles. 5. He worked for Pizza House before he worked for the Los Angeles Times. 6. He is currently unemployed. 7. He has a California driver's license. 8. He doesn't have a criminal record. 9. He is bilingual. 1. He wants to be a deliver man. 2. He didn't go to college. 3. He was born in the United States. 4. He previously lived in Los Angeles. 5. He worked for Pizza House before he worked for the Los Angeles Times. 6. He is currently unemployed. 7. He has a California driver's license. 8. He doesn't have a criminal record. 9. He is bilingual. 1. He wants to be a deliver man. 2. He didn't go to college. 3. He was born in the United States. 4. He previously lived in Los Angeles. 5. He worked for Pizza House before he worked for the Los Angeles Times. 6. He is currently unemployed. 7. He has a California driver's license. 8. He doesn't have a criminal record. 9. He is bilingual. Now she wants to fill out an application for another job. She needs more money. She wants to be a full-time seamstress. Isabel has only one problem. She has a bad back. She needs to stand up every two hours at work. At the interview she will say, Don't worry. I can still do this job well. Isabel is confident about her English. She is in an advanced ESL class at West City Center. Isabel has a part-time job. She's a seamstress at Best Tailoring. She has worked at her present job for two years. Before that, she was an assembler, but she was laid off. Now she wants to fill out an application for another job. She needs more money. She wants to be a full-time seamstress. Isabel has only one problem. She has a bad back. She needs to stand up every two hours at work. At the interview she will say, Don't worry. I can still do this job well. Isabel is confident about her English. She is in an advanced ESL class at West City Center.
Isabel has a part-time job. She's a seamstress at best tailoring. She has worked at her present job for two years. Before that, she was an assembler, but she was laid off. Now she wants to fill out an application for another job. She needs more money. She wants to be a full-time seamstress. Isabel has only one problem. She has a bad back. She needs to stand up every two hours at work. At the interview she will say, don't worry. I can still do this job well. Isabel is confident about her English. She is in an advanced ESL class at West City Center. Isabel has a part-time job. She's a seamstress at Best Tailoring. She has worked at her present job for two years. Before that, she was an assembler, but she was laid off. Now she wants to fill out an application for another job. She needs more money. She wants to be a full-time seamstress. Isabel has only one problem. She has a bad back. She needs to stand up every two hours at work. At the interview she will say, don't worry. I can still do this job well. Isabel is confident about her English. She is in an advanced ESL class at West City Center. Isabel has a part-time job. She's a seamstress at Best Tailoring. She has worked at her present job for two years. Before that, she was an assembler, but she was laid off. Now she wants to fill out an application for another job. She needs more money. She wants to be a full-time seamstress. Isabel has only one problem. She has a bad back. She needs to stand up every two hours at work. At the interview she will say, don't worry. I can still do this job well. Isabel is confident about her English. She is in an advanced ESL class at West City Center. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. Do you know that some questions are illegal for employers to ask? It is against the law to discriminate against applicants based on race, religion, age, nationality, gender, or sexual orientation. Therefore, an experienced employer will not ask about these topics. You should not offer information about your family, age, or religious beliefs. Do you know that some questions are illegal for employers to ask? It is against the law to discriminate against applicants based on race, religion, age, nationality, gender, or sexual orientation. Therefore, an experienced employer will not ask about these topics. You should not offer information about your family, age, or religious beliefs. Do you know that some questions are illegal for employers to ask? It is against the law to discriminate against applicants based on race, religion, age, nationality, gender, or sexual orientation. Therefore, an experienced employer will not ask about these topics. You should not offer information about your family, age, or religious beliefs. Do you know that some questions are illegal for employers to ask? It is against the law to discriminate against applicants based on race, religion, age, nationality, gender, or sexual orientation. Therefore, an experienced employer will not ask about these topics. You should not offer information about your family, age, or religious beliefs. Do you know that some questions are illegal for employers to ask? It is against the law to discriminate against applicants based on race, religion, age, nationality, gender, or sexual orientation. Therefore, an experienced employer will not ask about these topics. You should not offer information about your family, age, or religious beliefs. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. 1. Shake hands firmly, but don't break the interviewer's wrist. 2. Wait for the interviewer to invite you to sit down. 3. Try to relax, but keep good posture. Sit up straight and still.
Keep your arms relaxed. 4. Don't sit with your arms crossed. 5. Maintain good eye contact with the interviewer. 6. Don't fidget with your hands or play with your hair. 1. Shake hands firmly, but don't break the interviewer's wrist. 2. Wait for the interviewer to invite you to sit down. 3. Try to relax, but keep good posture. Sit up straight and still. Keep your arms relaxed. 4. Don't sit with your arms crossed. 5. Maintain good eye contact with the interviewer. 6. Don't fidget with your hands or play with your hair. 1. Shake hands firmly, but don't break the interviewer's wrist. 2. Wait for the interviewer to invite you to sit down. 3. Try to relax, but keep good posture. Sit up straight and still. Keep your arms relaxed. 4. Don't sit with your arms crossed. 5. Maintain good eye contact with the interviewer. 6. Don't fidget with your hands or play with your hair. 1. Shake hands firmly, but don't break the interviewer's wrist. 2. Wait for the interviewer to invite you to sit down. 3. Try to relax, but keep good posture. Sit up straight and still. Keep your arms relaxed. 4. Don't sit with your arms crossed. 5. Maintain good eye contact with the interviewer. 6. Don't fidget with your hands or play with your hair. 1. Shake hands firmly, but don't break the interviewer's wrist. 2. Wait for the interviewer to invite you to sit down. 3. Try to relax, but keep good posture. Sit up straight and still. Keep your arms relaxed. 4. Don't sit with your arms crossed. 5. Maintain good eye contact with the interviewer. 6. Don't fidget with your hands or play with your hair. 1. How do you feel about job interviews? Nervous? Excited? 2. Have you had a job interview in your native country? 3. Have you had a job interview in the United States? 4. Are job interviews in the United States the same as in your native country? 1. How do you feel about job interviews? Nervous? Excited? 2. Have you had a job interview in your native country? 3. Have you had a job interview in the United States? 4. Are job interviews in the United States the same as in your native country? 1. How do you feel about job interviews? Nervous? Excited? 2. Have you had a job interview in your native country? 3. Have you had a job interview in the United States? 4. Are job interviews in the United States the same as in your native country? 1. How do you feel about job interviews? Nervous? Excited? 2. Have you had a job interview in your native country? 3. Have you had a job interview in the United States? 4. Are job interviews in the United States the same as in your native country? 1. How do you feel about job interviews? Nervous? Excited? 2. Have you had a job interview in your native country? 3. Have you had a job interview in the United States? 4. Are job interviews in the United States the same as in your native country? 
I also like to learn new things. I can cook well, and I can work quickly. Also, I have some computer skills. Sure. Before I came to the U.S., I worked in a restaurant. Now I'm studying English. I want to get more restaurant experience in the U.S. I am a team player, and I'm flexible. I also like to learn new things. I can cook well, and I can work quickly. Also, I have some computer skills. Sure. Before I came to the U.S., I worked in a restaurant. Now I'm studying English. I want to get more restaurant experience in the U.S. I am a team player, and I'm flexible. I also like to learn new things. I can cook well, and I can work quickly. Also, I have some computer skills. Sure. Before I came to the U.S., I worked in a restaurant. Now I'm studying English. I want to get more restaurant experience in the U.S. I am a team player, and I'm flexible. I also like to learn new things. I can cook well, and I can work quickly. Also, I have some computer skills. Sure. Before I came to the U.S., I worked in a restaurant. Now I'm studying English. I want to get more restaurant experience in the U.S. I am a team player, and I'm flexible. I also like to learn new things. I can cook well, and I can work quickly. Also, I have some computer skills. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. Dear Ms. Hill, I would like to thank you for the job interview I had with you on Monday, September 29th. I appreciate the time you spent with me. Thank you for showing me around the store and introducing me to some of the employees. I felt very comfortable with them. Thank you again for your time. I hope to hear from you soon. Sincerely, Eden Johnson Dear Ms. Hill, I would like to thank you for the job interview I had with you on Monday, September 29th. I appreciate the time you spent with me. Thank you for showing me around the store and introducing me to some of the employees. I felt very comfortable with them. Thank you again for your time. I hope to hear from you soon. Sincerely, Eden Johnson Dear Ms. Hill, I would like to thank you for the job interview I had with you on Monday, September 29th. I appreciate the time you spent with me. Thank you for showing me around the store and introducing me to some of the employees. I felt very comfortable with them. Thank you again for your time. I hope to hear from you soon. Sincerely, Eden Johnson Dear Ms. Hill, I would like to thank you for the job interview I had with you on Monday, September 29th. I appreciate the time you spent with me. Thank you for showing me around the store and introducing me to some of the employees. I felt very comfortable with them. Thank you again for your time. I hope to hear from you soon. Sincerely, Eden Johnson Dear Ms. Hill, I would like to thank you for the job interview I had with you on Monday, September 29th. I appreciate the time you spent with me. Thank you for showing me around the store and introducing me to some of the employees. I felt very comfortable with them. Thank you again for your time. I hope to hear from you soon. Sincerely, Eden Johnson This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. 1. How long have you been driving? Since I came to the U.S. 2. How long have you been cooking for yourself? Since I got married. 3. How long have you been attending this school? Since last semester. 
4. How long have you been working in this country? Since 2020. 5. How long have you been speaking English? For about a year. 6. How long have you been using a computer? Since I was 10 years old. 1. How long have you been driving? Since I came to the U.S. 2. How long have you been cooking for yourself? Since I got married. 3. How long have you been attending this school? Since last semester. 4. How long have you been working in this country? Since 2020. 5. How long have you been speaking English? For about a year. 6. How long have you been using a computer? Since I was 10 years old. 1. How long have you been driving? Since I came to the U.S. 2. How long have you been cooking for yourself? Since I got married. 3. How long have you been attending this school? Since last semester. 4. How long have you been working in this country? Since 2020. 5. How long have you been speaking English? For about a year. 6. How long have you been using a computer? Since I was 10 years old. 1. How long have you been driving? Since I came to the U.S. 2. How long have you been cooking for yourself? Since I got married. 3. How long have you been attending this school? Since last semester. 4. How long have you been working in this country? Since 2020. 5. How long have you been speaking English? For about a year. 6. How long have you been using a computer? Since I was 10 years old. 1. How long have you been driving? Since I came to the U.S. 2. How long have you been cooking for yourself? Since I got married. 3. How long have you been attending this school? Since last semester. 4. How long have you been working in this country? Since 2020. 5. How long have you been speaking English? For about a year. 6. How long have you been using a computer? Since I was 10 years old. 1. How long have Felix and Pablo been painting the house? For two days. 2. How long has Sandra been talking on the phone? She has been talking for about 20 minutes. 3. How long has Ron been waiting for the Uber? He has been waiting since 8 o'clock. 4. How long has Kenna been studying? She has been studying all morning. 5. How long has Daniel been practicing keyboarding? He has been practicing keyboarding for about 3 hours. 6. How long has Sharon been working in the restaurant? She has been working in the restaurant since 2021. 1. How long have Felix and Pablo been painting the house? For two days. 2. How long has Sandra been talking on the phone? She has been talking for about 20 minutes. 3. How long has Ron been waiting for the Uber? He has been waiting since 8 o'clock. 4. How long has Kenna been studying? She has been studying all morning. 5. How long has Daniel been practicing keyboarding? He has been practicing keyboarding for about three hours. 6. How long has Sharon been working in the restaurant? She has been working in the restaurant since 2021. 1. How long have Felix and Pablo been painting the house? For two days. 2. How long has Sandra been talking on the phone? She has been talking for about 20 minutes. 3. How long has Ron been waiting for the Uber? He has been waiting since 8 o'clock. 4. How long has Kenna been studying? 
she has been studying all morning. 5. How long has Daniel been practicing keyboarding? He has been practicing keyboarding for about three hours. 6. How long has Sharon been working in the restaurant? She has been working in the restaurant since 2021. 1. How long have Felix and Pablo been painting the house? For two days. 2. How long has Sandra been talking on the phone? She has been talking for about 20 minutes. 3. How long has Ron been waiting for the Uber? He has been waiting since 8 o'clock. 4. How long has Kenna been studying? She has been studying all morning. 5. How long has Daniel been practicing keyboarding? He has been practicing keyboarding for about 3 hours. 6. How long has Sharon been working in the restaurant? She has been working in the restaurant since 2021. 1. How long have Felix and Pablo been painting the house? For two days. 2. How long has Sandra been talking on the phone? She has been talking for about 20 minutes. 3. How long has Ron been waiting for the Uber? He has been waiting since 8 o'clock. 4. How long has Kenna been studying? She has been studying all morning. 5. How long has Daniel been practicing keyboarding? He has been practicing keyboarding for about 3 hours. 6. How long has Sharon been working in the restaurant? She has been working in the restaurant since 2021. 1. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL Intermediate Low Level. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Jane pays her rent on the first day of the month. Past. John paid half price for his shoes yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Jane is paying her utility bill. Present perfect. Jane has paid her bills on time for a long time. Present perfect continuous. Sarah has been paying discount prices for shoes at the new shoe store. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Jane pays her rent on the first day of the month. Past. John paid half price for his shoes yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Jane is paying her utility bill. Present perfect. Jane has paid her bills on time for a long time. Present perfect continuous. Sarah has been paying discount prices for shoes at the new shoe store. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Jane pays her rent on the first day of the month. Past. John paid half price for his shoes yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Jane is paying her utility bill. Present perfect. Jane has paid her bills on time for a long time. Present perfect continuous. Sarah has been paying discount prices for shoes at the new shoe store. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Jane pays her rent on the first day of the month. Past. John paid half price for his shoes yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Jane is paying her utility bill. Present perfect. Jane has paid her bills on time for a long time. Present perfect continuous. Sarah has been paying discount prices for shoes at the new shoe store. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Jane pays her rent on the first day of the month. Past. John paid half price for his shoes yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Jane is paying her utility bill. Present perfect. Jane has paid her bills on time for a long time. Present perfect continuous. Sarah has been paying discount prices for shoes at the new shoe store. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. ESL Intermediate Low Level Pay Paid Paid Paying Present 
Bill always pays too much for shoes. Present perfect. Bill has paid a lot for his athletic shoes since he started playing sport. Past. Susan paid a lot for her expensive purse last weekend. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Susan is paying for some expensive shoes. Present perfect continuous, progressive. We have been paying too much for gas this year. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Bill always pays too much for shoes. Present perfect. Bill has paid a lot for his athletic shoes since he started playing sport. Past. Susan paid a lot for her expensive purse last weekend. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Susan is paying for some expensive shoes. Present perfect continuous, progressive. We have been paying too much for gas this year. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Bill always pays too much for shoes. Present perfect. Bill has paid a lot for his athletic shoes since he started playing sport. Past. Susan paid a lot for her expensive purse last weekend. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Susan is paying for some expensive shoes. Present perfect continuous, progressive. We have been paying too much for gas this year. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Bill always pays too much for shoes. Present perfect. Bill has paid a lot for his athletic shoes since he started playing sport. Past. Susan paid a lot for her expensive purse last weekend. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Susan is paying for some expensive shoes. Present perfect continuous, progressive. We have been paying too much for gas this year. Pay paid paid paying. Present. Bill always pays too much for shoes. Present perfect. Bill has paid a lot for his athletic shoes since he started playing sport. Past. Susan paid a lot for her expensive purse last weekend. Present continuous, progressive. Now, Susan is paying for some expensive shoes. Present perfect continuous, progressive. We have been paying too much for gas this year. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes, ESL intermediate low level. Put 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 putting. Present. Mary puts her baby down for a nap at 10 a.m. every day. Past. She put her baby down at 10 a.m. yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. She's putting her baby down for a nap now. Present perfect. She has put her baby down for a nap at the same time for the last six months. Present perfect continuous. Mary has been putting away $100 a month for the baby's college fund. Put 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 putting. Present. Mary puts her baby down for a nap at 10 a.m. every day. Past. She put her baby down at 10 a.m. yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. She's putting her baby down for a nap now. Present perfect. She has put her baby down for a nap at the same time for the last six months. Present perfect continuous. Mary has been putting away $100 a month for the baby's college fund. Put 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 putting. Present. Mary puts her baby down for a nap at 10 a.m. every day. Past. She put her baby down at 10 a.m. yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. She's putting her baby down for a nap now. Present perfect. She has put her baby down for a nap at the same time for the last six months. Present perfect continuous. 
Mary has been putting away $100 a month for the baby's college fund. Put 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 putting. Present. Mary puts her baby down for a nap at 10 a.m. every day. Past. She put her baby down at 10 a.m. yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. She's putting her baby down for a nap now. Present perfect. She has put her baby down for a nap at the same time for the last six months. Present perfect continuous. Mary has been putting away $100 a month for the baby's college fund. Put 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 putting. Present. Mary puts her baby down for a nap at 10 a.m. every day. Past. She put her baby down at 10 a.m. yesterday. Present continuous, progressive. She's putting her baby down for a nap now. Present perfect. She has put her baby down for a nap at the same time for the last six months. Present perfect continuous. Mary has been putting away $100 a month for the baby's college fund.